Hi everyone, it's Patricia again and welcome back to our channel. So to get into this wintry month, we're going to learn a little bit about it through December trivia and facts. Let's begin. So to get us started, we have a question about December that asks, which of the following does not take place in December? Is it Boxing Day, Hanukkah, Christmas, or Australia Day? Which of those days does not occur in December? Hmm. Well, Christmas and Hanukkah are in December. Do you know when Boxing Day or Australia Day is? One of them is going to be January 26th. Which one takes place in January? So the day after Christmas is usually Boxing Day. So it's Australia Day that doesn't take place in December, but it takes place January 26th. Our next question asks, true or false? December gets its name from the Latin word decem, which means 12. What do you think about that? Do you think December gets its name from decem, meaning 12? So this answer is false. It says, although December gets its name from the Latin word decem, decem doesn't mean 12, but it actually means 10. It says December was originally the 10th month in the Roman calendar that was used previously before the Gregorian calendar that we use today. The next question asks, Diego Rivera was born on December 8th. What was his profession? Was he a singer, artist, poet, or explorer? What did Diego Rivera do? Do you remember what he was well known for? So he was an artist. He was a painter to be specific. And you might have also heard his name because he was the husband of Frida Kahlo, another famous Mexican painter. I have another true or false for you. December in the Northern Hemisphere is similar to June in the Southern Hemisphere. Is that true or false? So December, where we are in the Northern Hemisphere, it's kind of colder. Do you think June in the Southern Hemisphere is when it's their cold months? What do you think about this sun? So this answer was true. It says due to the Earth's tilt, the Southern Hemisphere tips towards the sun in December, January, and February. So those months are the warmer months for the Southern Hemisphere. How about this one? What five words do you think are missing from this poem? Twas the night before Christmas. What are those five words that are missing after that? The next five words that are missing is when all through the house. So when it's all put together, it would go, twas the night before Christmas. When all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Do you ever remember hearing that poem, maybe from a family member or friends? Let's try another. So little fact is that basketball was invented in December of 1891. So what basketball term means to advance the ball by bouncing? What's another term you've heard for bouncing a basketball? How about dribbling? It says in the game of basketball, there are only two ways to move the ball down the court, either by dribbling it or by passing it. Let's try our next question. This one's a little bit trickier. This question asks, December starts on the same day of the week as what month of the year? What do you think about this? So December starts on a certain day of the week and it always starts on the same day of the week that another month starts on. What's that other month? Any guesses? So this one is September. So they always start on the same day of the week and December always ends on the same day of the week as April ends on. How cool. Let's get into another question. How about this one? Which of these December events occurred most recently? 
the plane carrying Glenn Miller that was lost? Rosa Parks refusing to give up her seat on the bus? Silent Night being performed by for the first time in a church in Austria? Or Teddy Roosevelt being the first American to win the Nobel Peace Prize? Which of those four events do you think occurred most recently? What's your guess to this one? Do you remember what years these events took place? Well, let's take a look. It says the plane carrying Glenn Miller was lost in 1944. Then it says Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat on the bus in 1955. So that one's going to be a little bit more recently than the first one. Let's see what's after that. It says that Silent Night was performed but for the first time in a church in Austria in 1818. That's going to be the oldest one. And let's see about the last. It says Teddy Roosevelt was the first American to win the Nobel Peace Prize in 1906. So the answer to this question was that Rosa Parks refusing to give up her seat on the bus was the most recent event to have occurred out of those four. Let's try another one. Our next question asks, what blue-eyed crooner from Hoboken, New Jersey was born on December 12th 1955. What really famous singer could that be? That would be Frank Sinatra. He started his career singing for Harry James and Tommy Dorsey, but he later found great success as a solo artist. And so he was born December 12th, 1915. Let's try another one. How about this one? Do you know what the birth flower of December is? Is it the daisy? Narcissus, geranium, or iris? Which of those do you think is the birth flower for December? Have you seen all those flowers before? So this answer is going to be Narcissus. It says it's a member of the Amarillas family. Let's try our next question. So did you watch any Christmas movies when you were younger or currently? How about It's a Wonderful Life? Did you ever watch that? Our next question asks about that movie. It says, in the film It's a Wonderful Life that was released in December of 1946, who was the male star of the film? Was it James Cagney, Clark Gable, Cary Grant, or Jimmy Stewart? Which of those men were the leading role in It's a Wonderful Life? So this answer is Jimmy Stewart. He's the one that played the lead character, George Bailey, in the film It's a Wonderful Life. Let's try another question. This says, what caused the giant tsunami in the Indian Ocean that occurred on December 26 of 2004? Do you think it was a tornado that caused the tsunami or an earthquake? a hurricane, or a typhoon? Which of those different occurrences caused the tsunami? Do you remember hearing about that tsunami in 2004 and some of its facts? So what caused the tsunami in the Indian Ocean in 2004 was an earthquake. It says the 9.3 magnitude earthquake occurred in the Indian Ocean off the west coast of Sumatra because of that earthquake, the tsunami happened. Let's try another question. This question asks, Chiclets were trademark registered on December of 1905. What kind of candy are these? Do you remember ever having that? So this was chewing gum. The square shaped gum comes in a variety of flavors and colors. Let's try another question. This asks, on what date in December did the Japanese attack Pearl Harbor? Do you remember what day that would have been? And maybe what year? So it happened in 1941. And the day was December 7th. So December 7th of 1941 is when Pearl Harbor occurred. And do you know what the birth zone for December is? What do you think it could be? 
Is your birthday in December? Or do you have any friends or family with birthdays in, in December? So the birth zone would be turquoise. I have a couple of interesting facts about December for you as well. So did you know that for the month of December, it's the Universal Human Rights Month? So people will remember other famous people that fought for human rights and other actions that were done to speak out for human rights. It's also National Read a New Book Month. Have you tried reading a new book this month yet? Which one have you read? Which one would you like to maybe start? Also, in the month of December is when Nobel Prizes are awarded. And in the month of December, there's a lot of different celebrations. We have Christmas that people celebrate, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah. Those are just a few. There's so many more. And did you know for the month of December, it's also National Fruitcake Month. Have you ever made a fruitcake? Do you like fruitcake? I actually have a brother who's going to make it this year. And did you know that the winter solstice will happen in December? It'll be on the 21st. And so that is going to be the first day of winter for the northern hemisphere, and then the first day of summer for the southern hemisphere. Also, in the month of December, there's going to be a large meteor shower that happens every December. It's called the Geminid meteor shower. And the peak time to view this shower is between December 13th night into December 14th morning. So anytime after 9, you can try to look outside and see if you can see those meteors from where you are. So that's it for our December trivia and facts. If you liked it, comment down below so that we know you liked it and that we can maybe do some more videos like this. In the meantime, please watch all of our other videos to interact and have fun with them. We'll see you next time. Bye!